Hey everyone, it's Scott Norris here. Uh, today I finally have some time and I'm sending another video up. Now today I'm going to have a look at blueprinting and just really how easy blueprinting can be in Virilize Automation. So obviously I'm using Virilize Automation Cloud here, but Virilize Automation Cloud and Virilize Automation 8, the same code base, same capabilities. Obviously the cloud version gets the updates a bit sooner, benefits of being SaaS. Um, but I just wanted to run through uh, how simple it is. Now you can do it via code if you want to, you can use the UI and the great thing about this is it gives people the choice and the organizations the choice because not every organization has got the skill sets to be able to deploy into multiple clouds and this is where the this is where the value in that is really shown and I can deploy into any one of those clouds very very easily. So let's just have a look, very basic 101 and this will be the first video in a whole series that I'm trying to do uh, just to be able to share what I've learnt and um, you know hopefully others can uh, can uh, benefit from that. So let's have a look. So we've got our our um, components over the side here, we've got a design canvas in the middle, and we've got our code on the right. Now uh, obviously there is more advanced ways, we can actually sync directly up to git and you can sync all your blueprints without ever having to log into here but let's just uh, learn how to do it in 101 style. So let's have a look at machines, so I just want to do IIS to a cloud. So I go over here, browse it over, and we can see we've got a machine here. Now there's two mandatory items here and that's image and flavor. Now I could write this in code, but you can also go to the properties tab here and what it actually gives you is a drop down of all the ones you've currently got available. So I've got my CentOS and let's just do a small one there, right? So if I go back to code, they're gonna be filled in for me. Now these are the only two constraints that I have on my uh, blueprint, and I can actually, if I've got, um, if I've got uh, AWS and vSphere, Azure, or GCP uh, connected, it's gonna round robin or based on priority to the project that I'm provisioning on will depend on which cloud it ends up into. So if I've got my vSphere as priority zero and the next one's one, two, and three, it's always gonna go to the zero. Uh, until it's full, I've hit my limits or whatever limits that have been put in place and then it'll move on to the next one. Um, and that's because we've just constraint with image and flavor. If you want to know what images or flavors are, um, have a look at some of my previous videos. I go over all of that sort of stuff, uh, just giving a, a, an overview of each one of the sections. But essentially I can set CentOS and set it to any images, whether it be Marketplace or my own templates in vSphere AWS or GCP, uh, whatever the endpoints I've got hooked up, and flavor again. I can assign small to any one that I want to. So um, with this in mind, I can just do that. So that took me you know, other than talking, uh, the actual action of creating this has taken, you know, less than 10 seconds. And I can test that just to make sure. Now it should work because uh, it's um, it's got very little constraints at all. Uh, great, I can have a look at the provisioning diagram if I want to. Uh, but what I'm actually just going to do is I'm just going to go and deploy this. And we go blueprinting. And there. Current draft, deploy, done. So that's going to go off and that's going to pick based on my um, Project Z's priorities and what I can provision to, um, which endpoint that it goes into. So it's going to build out here slowly. Now it should probably go to vSphere because it's my highest priority endpoint because it doesn't cost me anything to deploy to it um, when I'm doing my testing. So you have a look and there it is, it's going to vSphere. Um, so I can actually uh, have a look in here um, and we should see it come up once it's available. So it's going to be 1760. Uh, 1760, there it is, it's just cloning. Um, it's powering on, nice and quick. So if we have a look at this, um, it's going to be connected to cloud deployment, which is my default uh, network for that zone. All right, so there it is. You know, infrastructure as code essentially, but it allowed me to very easily create IaaS. Now let's add it up a bit. What about if I want to choose where this gets placed? So this is where a constraint comes in. So we go, okay, well, let's just put a simple constraint in. So a simple constraint for me would be to have um, a tag, which is, and it gives me all the list of the tags that I use, is platform AWS, for instance. 
right? So now that's put a constraint on there. Now that constraint is a, or well, that tag is a constraint in my blueprint. It's a capability tag on any one of my endpoints. So obviously being um, as original as I am, I use platform AWS, right? But these could be, you know, things based on licensing, could be based on security classifications, any sort of business rules, right? So I could do uh, deploy that one now. I'll do printing uh, Whoop. I'll choose the current draft and deploy. All right. Nice and easy. Now that should allocate and go to AWS. Wait for that to come up. There it is. And it's AWS. Awesome. All right, so I'm choosing where I want it to go, but what about what network? So if I went to uh, my infrastructure and I go to network profiles, you can see that that's my default zone for vSphere. But I've got all these other network zones, right? You see network zone app, network zone data, and these are what I've tagged it with. Um, the same thing is on AWS and Azure uh, that I've got connected up. I've got my networks. I've got no default zone here, um, but I've got you know network zone public, unclassified, private, etc. So I want to now place it on a network because at the moment I'm not choosing that. So let's go back to Blueprint and let's drag on a network. Awesome. So there's my network type there. I want to connect this machine to that network. Simple as that. And it's put in the network that this machine is going to be attached to, which is this one. But then I want, you know, this is network type existing. Great. And I'll cover what the network types are in later um, videos. But this one, we want to put a constraint. Exactly the same way that we put on the machines. So here, I want to do... Um, let's do network zone app, but instead of AWS, let's change this tag to vSphere because I know that what network zone app isn't going to work. If I go test, it's not going to be fine, be able to find a network resource within that region that matches that tag. So I want to go and change my tag to vSphere. Now, if I test that, that should work. There we go. Um, it's picked the network and we can go deploy. Let's go blueprinting. See, next to the current draft, deploy. All right, great. So, so far, very, very simple to get started. And let's just, one last thing is how about we wanna add storage to that particular machine. Let's put a volume over here. I want to attach that volume to that machine. Great. And then with this volume, I want to make it, you know, a 10 gig volume, for instance. And deploying that is going to give it an extra drive uh, with that 10 gig capacity. Now I can have uh, different constraints within here as well. Now I don't have any uh, constraints on my storage profiles at the moment, but again, this is how you could place it on a particular storage tier using the same constraints as we have for networking in, in, um, in the machine. We can deploy that. And that should go off without a hitch. So if we have a look at our provisioning, we can see, A, hey, great, that's deployed. This deployed on Amazon. Uh, within this, it should be, have a look at this cloud machine, uh, 166, that should go on that app tier. Uh, there it is. And it's connected to that T1 app network. Awesome, everything's happen happening the way it should. Uh, so simple, my four-year-old daughter can do it.
here so that your image talk is like this. Remember that? <laughs> Yay! High fives! Yeah! <laughs> Too slow? <laughs> uh, thank you! Awesome! So, today, that's all we're going to cover. Very basic blueprinting 101. Please check out the next videos and I can and I'm going to go through inputs and how we do inputs uh, into the uh, blueprint and pretty much creating your own form in code. All right. Cheers. Bye.